welcome back for day two. Um, I hope that yesterday went well. We've got another fun one today. Uh, the affirmation is I am open to positive change. Let's just get started. So we're going to begin by coming into a comfortable position in Shavasana. So I quite like to lie down in Shavasana and just take up as much space as I can. I know that some people can find it unsupportive on the back, so if it feels good, then plant your feet and bring your tailbone up, bring your feet to the outside of the mat and let your knees fall in together. And just let yourself relax into the mat and try and think of what today's affirmation means to you. I am open to positive change. Okay, let's inhale and bring your feet in together, pull your knees into your chest, use your hands to help you. Okay, let's inhale and as you exhale, let your knees drop to your side, let your arms come wide, both shoulders to the floor. If you want a deeper stretch, then bring that top knee to the ground. Let's inhale and bring your knees up back to centre and let them drop the other way. Breathe here. Okay, let's inhale, bring them back up. Okay, so we've got our feet planted on the ground, knees bent. As we inhale, bring the hips and the arms high. Squeeze the glutes as you get to the top. Arms come all the way overhead, touch the ground. Exhale, lower the hips, lower the arms. And try and make the movement of your hips and your arms last the length of your breath. Exhale, come down. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, rise. Squeeze. Exhale, lower. Last time, really use your breath to help you. Inhale. Exhale, lower down. Okay, let's use our hands and our arms to help us back up. Cross the legs, plant the hands in front of you, come up to downward dog. Let's have a moment just to feel out our hamstrings, push the chest towards the thighs, squeeze the fingers into the ground. So we're going to inhale and bring our right leg high. Exhale, we're going to come in, squeeze the knee into your chest. We're going to push back nice and high. Okay, let's exhale and bring that in again. One more time, push back. This time, land our knee at our right wrist. We're coming into pigeon pose. So bring that back leg down, knee drops to the floor. Take your time to get comfortable here. It feels good being high, stay here. If you want to come a little bit lower, come onto forearms or forehead and just breathe here. Okay, let's slowly bring ourselves back up onto our hands. We're going to tuck the back toes of our left foot. We're going to push ourselves right back up to a three-legged dog. So we're bringing that bent leg nice and high back into a three-legged dog. We're going to sweep it through between the hands. We're going to bring that left foot to meet our right and come into a forward fold. Take a breath here. Okay, we're going to roll up nice and slowly. Bring your arms wide and high with you. Inhale. Hands meet up overhead. Let's bring them down the centre line. We're going to come into tree pose. So lift your right foot to your left leg. This can be anywhere. You can keep it down at the ankle or bring it right up into your thigh. Use your hand to help you. Push that right foot into the left leg and squeeze out that right knee. Palms together at heart centre. Breathe here. Smile away to yourself. <laughs> Don't worry if you fall out of it. 
Okay, like keeping that right leg high, let's pull it into chest. Squeeze in here for a breath. Then we're gonna wrap it around our left leg and sink. This is eagle pose. So you want to wrap that right leg round either once or twice, bringing the toes back around. Sink into that, breathe here. Okay, let's bring that right leg back to a lunge, hands to floor, we're pushing back to the downward dog, let's do the other side. So left leg comes nice and high, squeeze the glute, we're pulling it forward, squeezing it into the chest, push it back high, roll forward, squeeze into the chest again, push back, Pull it forward, land the left knee and left wrist. We're coming into pigeon pose. Bring that right knee down. Pull that right leg back. Drop the foot. Come high, or if it feels good, sink a little bit lower and come onto your forearms or your forehead. We're going to push that left leg right back up into three-legged dog. Feel strong. Okay, let's lunge it through in between the hands. Let's bring our right foot to meet our left. Forward fold. Take a breath here. Roll up nice and slowly. Arms come wide and high. Palms meet overhead. Let's bring the palms down the centre line. And our left leg, however high feels good. For tree pose. Use that knee out. Feel your toes stable in the ground. Breathe here. Remember the affirmation, I am open to positive change. Okay, let's bring that left knee high. Squeeze into your chest. Breathe in. And as you exhale, wrap that left leg around the right, either once or twice. Sink low. Breathe here. Shoulders drop, tailbone tucked. Squeeze those legs together. Keep breathing. Okay, let's bring that left leg back into a lunge. Plant the hands, come to downward dog. Let's drop our knees outwards and come into child's pose. Okay, let's pull ourselves up to tabletop, so hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. Let's extend our right arm, reach into the sky, feel that stretch. We're going to thread it underneath our left arm. Drop that shoulder to the ground, bring the left hand to the top of the mat, really feel that stretch. Okay, let's pull that left hand in to help support us. So we extend that arm back to tabletop. Let's do the other side. So we're going to bring that left arm nice and high, stacking the shoulders, and let's thread it through underneath. Bring that right arm to the top of the mat and push that shoulder back. Remember, hips over knees. Try and maintain that. Hope you've got some nice deodorant on. <laughs> Breathe here, one more breath. Okay, let's bring that right hand in to help push us back up. We extend that arm and come back to tabletop. And let's come into a frog pose. I'll come this way to face you guys. So we're bringing our knees wide, parallel to your hips, ankles parallel to your knees, and your toes pointing out the way. Either come down onto your, just your hands, 
your forearms or if you really want to push it come all the way onto your forehead if you want a little bit more you can bring your toes together like a child's pose almost and push back into those hips take another couple breaths Hip openers are just so good for us. We hold so much tension and emotion in our hips. So this is a really good stretch. Okay, let's plant our hands. So bring you back up, be gentle. Let's come onto our bums with wide legs. And we're gonna do some side bends. So inhale, bring arms wide and high. Exhale, bring that right hand to the left side. You really want to open up that side, try and push your chest so it's facing forward. This is a deep side bend. We're just opening up all the muscles. And let's swap to the other side. Reach that left arm over, open up those ribs, really breathe into them. One more breath here. Okay. Let's cross the legs, hands on knees, palms facing up. Close your eyes, take a deep breath in through the nose. Bring your hands together, heart centre. Namaste. Have the best day.